You're never going to get a flat tyre. <laughs> Not possible, Alan. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is beautiful. So, what's it made out of? Just all metal, right? All metal. Yeah. These are uh, from the brakes, huh? From the. So I didn't notice this until Martin pointed it out. But this 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 biker's cow. <laughs> He's got a wicked sense of humour, hasn't he? Has got high heels. So what do you crop everybody? Those who know me know that's my Versi. And here I am at this amazing cafe, which is called the Bikers Cafe. So I'm gonna do a little video on this place as well as have some lunch and uh, just uh, give you guys the vibe, the vibe. Martin, how long have you actually had this place open for? Now it's uh, 18 months now. Since, uh, yeah, yeah, no, they have to close it for two months uh, because of the COVID-19. Yeah. Only 18 months and there's so many things here that you've like you've created, like all of the art and everything. How, how do you do that so quickly? Um, we planned it um, for for about three months and uh, created everything then in a half, half a year because it was a time the people they don't have a lot of work and they were very happy that you can do this and uh, uh, my idea is to make here something special um, everything about motorbikes and uh, uh, just like a small museum uh, it's not only old things of course are new, uh, new bikes here too but we have here uh, old triumph uh, 1954 PSA 1954 lot of arts who make who are special nobody has it these are all things nobody has it and always you want to have something special I don't know if you saw it here in the roof outside of um, the garden view there are two huge bikes but only one front wheel this guy is a bike enthusiast on steroids you want to have um, we have here um, a wheel on the hand or a helmet in the hand, all arts nobody has and uh, that's what I live in the ID to be different. Yeah, you got it from the owner. So this is basically a motorbike enthusiast museum with, with very unique pieces that have been made, I believe, by some pe some local Thai people. Martin designs it, he sketches it up and sends it off to his manufacturer and they come up with this amazing artwork which, which I'll I'll show you as I go around. So what is your favourite piece of art here? What's, what's your absolutely prized possession? Yeah, when I have to take only or say one piece only, then it's uh, this, 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 uh, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is old chains here. Huh? Old chains. Oh, the of chains course. Yeah, yeah for, for like from motorbikes, right? Yep. yep. As well as the tires. Uh, you see, you never will have a flat tire. Yeah. <laughs> So this is actually made, this is made out of chains. You can see this is a motorcycle chain here. And of course, the, all, everybody can sit on because it's 365 kilos, you can pull down. So it's not exactly and, uh, a lightweight. Pictures or selfies or whatever you want. Okay. Oh. It's funny. The great thing is here, the, um, this, this Thai people and all these artists here in Thailand, these are Thai people and uh, they do a very brilliant job. Uh, they have so much fantasy and uh, they, they look for the details and they are interested in doing this because um, it's uh, something special for them too to do these sort of things. Uh, only one example I said on all the 11 posts and on, on the right on the left hand side I want to have a front wheel, shock absorber and handlebar. 
but everything must be different. Davison Cafe Americano, of course. Honda Coffee Mocha. Triumph's Classic Cappuccino. Ducati's Wake Up <laughs> Espresso. Ducati Power Coffee. Ducati's Holy Power. There they are, guys. Check them out. And they tell me there's something very interesting in the toilet, so let's just check that out as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's the old handlebars to hold on to if you've had a few too many. <laughs> and it's actually a bloke's toilet, as you can tell. It's got the chick on the bike here. Even washing your hands, you kind of just feel like you're out there. Great place. Yeah, so we ordered the uh, Thai green curry and also this ridiculously good looking smoothie. It's a blueberry yogurt smoothie. It's bloody huge. And I'll just let you know how it tastes. Mm. Oh my god, that is amazing. 70 baht. So cheap. It's huge and it's got fresh yogurt. The food was extremely good value, and before I'd actually taken this photo, I'd eaten most of the curry. There's the biker's cow. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing here. That's looking back into the cafe from the other direction. Here's my favorite waitress. She's just gonna put some cream on here. You're making these for me. <laughs> all about the bikes. And the murals on the wall are obviously all bikes as well. Yep. This is a waking chair for all our customers. Sometimes they drink a little bit too much or they ate too much, then they can relax and they can sit here have a seat and of course for the beer everything is prepared. <laughs> have a relax and enjoy the, the day here. It's a beautiful channel here. And, uh, yeah. So there you go guys, it, this is this is biker's heaven. You can come after a big ride and if you just want to sit down and have a beer and, and fall asleep, just rock yourself asleep with a beer. This is the place to come. Yeah. This cafe has so many different elements to it. Like it's got beautiful outdoor seating, under the veranda seating here. It's got inside air conditioned seating. And we are and here on a clone. It's beautiful in the evening to sit here. Not many mosquitoes, so we are very yeah, right. surprised here. And we have your corners, Honda, Triumph, Holidays in Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki corners. Everybody can find their table <laughs> where they want to sit. Everyone can find a place where they're comfortable. So if you're a Ducati person, Basically, you're out on your own over there. <laughs> but it has a beautiful garden area. Yeah, well worth checking it out, guys. I would highly recommend. And the food was fantastic. And Martin was just telling me that you've got like four Thai chefs, two Farang food chefs, and about four service staffs, right? Yes, yeah, and two for fresh and food. Yeah, we have 10 employees here. 10 employees, and how many, what time are you open, Martin? What, 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 what are your hours, your trading hours? 
um, the opening hours. Yeah. Um, on we have Monday, Tuesday we have closed, and Wednesday to Friday we open 12 to 9 in the evening, and uh, Saturday, Sunday, 9. This bike is 300 kilo, and uh, this is 365 kilo. Wow, wow. All metal and handmade. It was an absolute pleasure to meet enthusiastic Martin and to visit his awesome cafe. If you enjoyed the video, you might wish to subscribe. If you didn't, just watch something else. Really appreciate the support to get to over 2,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to buy me a beer or a coffee, you can click on the link below and I'll also leave a link to the Google Map address for this cafe. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye for now. the enthusiastic owner of this cafe which his wife agreed to to, to open up a small cafe <laughs> you conned her didn't you big time <laughs> oh, I love it